You want road course racing? You got it. And Watkins Glen, New York is where it's at here today on the Casual Junior Success Race. It's stop number 22. Here as we are here at Watkins Glen for the, for the running of the... Three fifty five. And yeah, I know. Stupid title for a race, I know. Anyway, on the pole for the event, it's Jessica Shelton, car number nine, this of course light Melling Ford. She has the pole for the event. Alongside of her is Dylan Pote, car thirty one, the mom and pops Chevy Lumina. Row number two is Zed Weinstein and uh, one of the best on this racetrack himself. And he'll be flanked by number 42, Melly Ella Pontiac of Kyle Matthews. Row 3 has William Duncan in car 22, the Maxwell House Pontiac. He has the inside of a Maxwell House Ford, fail. Has the inside of a number 3, and beside him, Grant Thomas, car 14, the Copenhagen Oldsmobile. Then it's Henrietta Fitzwater, car 55, the Skull Crown Classic Oldsmobile. And she'll be alongside 66 car of Joshua Balkan, a winner on a road course this season at Riverside. Then it's Stephanie Neller, car 26, the Quaker State Buick, and she'll be alongside another Buick. It's Jeremy Doobie, car 12, the Raybestos Buick. Then it's Darian Taylor inside of row number next to, next to, inside of the next row, along in a number eight Snickers Buick. So three Buicks are right together. And alongside the number 28 Texaco Haviland Ford of, of Keith Batson. Who's currently sixth in points? Here goes Glenn to fire him up here at the Glen. Drivers, stop your engines! Man, get the fire the engines as we are get set for racing here at the Glen. Watkins Glen, that is. <coughs> as the field now rolls off and. Pace car looks on the pit road here. A Ford Chevy front row on this event. Jessica Shelton hopes she gets her luck turned around. She's a defending race winner, by the way. She did that from the pole as well. So, seems to me like here she's been a road course ace in the Casual GX Cup Series. We'll see how what ha all shakes out in the nine laps that's run here at today's event. Dylan Poteet's alongside. He's won a road course this season, but his was at Sonoma. And I think he's also won Riverside, too. So, we'll see what happens here. As the green flag waves, we're underway, and let's go road racing! Three wide fanning out as Ian Dutta makes the move to the inside of a, a few cars here. As the green, as on the break, it's Jessica Shelton out in front. Second right now is Dylan Pote. Battle for third between William Duncan and... and um, Zed Weinstein is now Henrietta Fitzwater goes by. Now heading for the inner loop, and that's turns five, six, seven, and eight. And a yellow flag is what is wave. Oh, it's Joshua Osborne that spun. You usually do not see a yellow flag at Watkins Glen, not near, but this time we did. And rounding turn number 10 they come, and it will be Jessica Shelton winning a race back to the start-finish line. Let's take a look against what happened there. Joshua Osborne, car 19 of Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Ford, who won a couple races back at Pocono, the second Pocono event. And it happened right on the start. Osborne started racing in 28th position. He's right behind the one of Trent Dunham. Goes into turn number one. And Batson, yeah, she, she spent, yeah. She gets into Sean Galgan and she gets into Osborne and just slams him hard in a tire barrier. Trent Dunham's crashed. And he's right up in the points. He was seventh in standings coming in. Seth Cole's in it. And Batson's in it. Yeah, and oh, one of the road aces, Joshua Collard, he's in the crash. He did not have a good qualifying run. 
after testing very well here at the track. But obviously Joshua Osborne was the one who got the big lick. On board with Joshua Osborne. And that's how quick it happens. It happens just that quick here at Watkins Glen. As the field rounds corner number 10. We got the green flag here on lap number 4. So we'll have 6 laps remaining here at the Glen. A short 9 lap event. It's Jessica Shelton who leads the event. Second is Dylan Poteet looking for his fourth win of the season. Shelton looking for her first this season, believe it or not. Uh, William Duncan has a win at Bristol. Henrietta Fitzwater has a win at California. Zed Weinstein, he does, he does, and he does not have a win this season so far in the 770 Rumble Furniture Machine. His last came last season at Talladega in the, in the Amp Energy 500. As the green flag waves, we're set to go racing here to again at the Glen. And whoa, Poteet all over that back bumper of Shelton as they go up into turn number one. New Cap Shear got way off the course. As meantime, Jessica Shelton and her and Dylan Poteet continue to now pull away from William Duncan. Off in the inner loops as turns five, six, seven, and eight. So a series of turns here. Call it the inner loop, the chicane, the bus stop, whatever you want to call it. Off in the turn number nine, a sweeping turn. They play with the throttle just a little bit through that turn. Now in the in a long stretch, now in the fourth gear at this point. And brakes very hard for turn ten. They go in there at about under a hundred miles an hour. As the cars take the final turn, Jessica Shelton leads the lap. Poteet's in second position, third William Duncan, fourth Zed Weinstein, fifth position is Henrietta Fitzwater, Kyle Matthews in sixth position, seventh is Darian Taylor, eighth is Grant Thomas, ninth Stephanie Neller, and tenth is Dalton Day, who's had a rough last few races himself. Crashed at Pocono, crashed at the Brickyard, and he has had a, he's been, and he like Shelton's been a bit of a slump last few races himself, but he does have a win this season that came at Michigan in the in the Miller Lite 400. He won that event, so he had, so he doesn't have to wait as long as to get a win this season. He did last season when he didn't win until Kansas. But Dalton right now is in 10th position. Joshua Balkin is in 11th. 12th is Keith Batson. 13th right now is Jeremy Dibbs. He gets around John, uh, Charlie Rodriguez. Cole Dowdy makes a move inside of Michael Norman. Meanwhile, Dylan Young does the same on Mike Becker. Becker gets off the course just a little bit. And allows Dylan Young to drive by him. But now, ooh, Becker. Now, a little crossover. Becker now makes a move inside as he's got... Says, I'm not giving up that easy, Dylan. So some great battling going on here in the middle of the back of the pack. Trent Dunham way back in the back. Trent uh, Trent was seventh. Trent Dunham was seventh in points coming in. He's way back in the back. Preston Plore was eighth in the points, and he's back in the back. So some of the top ten runners in the points chase not having a good day. And there's our championship leader, Sean Galligan, in a three-wide situation. He and Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, and Galgan almost got tapped around by Zachary Fitzwater. Nonetheless, though, Galgan's in 27th. And meanwhile, Brian Judge, second in points. He's 22nd. 
And so the last thing they wanted to hear at this point was Jessica Shelton is leading the race, and that's the, and that's what they're getting right now. And there is Shelton all alone out front. With a comfortable march on right over Dylan Poteet. He Poteet's in second position. Poteet right now, he is currently in the fifth position in the points chase. So he's looking good right now. Actually, no, excuse me. Actually, he's sixth place in the points coming in to the Glen. So it would be a big move for him if he wins. Or if he, uh, actually, a big move for him if he wins or finishes second, whichever. Nonetheless, though, Shelton runs right now is in second is, is the leader right now. She's the and she has two laps to get this time by. And you're on board with Jessica Shelton in car number nine. Play is that throw through turn eleven. Now through, down the front stretch she goes. Now setting up for a hard turn number one. Some quick shifting going on there in the turn number one. Up to the hill she goes. Now it starts accelerating about 150 miles an hour at this point. Speed increasing 160 miles an hour. 165. 7. And into the inner loop at 171 miles an hour. And Shelton knows this time by, she'll see the white flag. She'll have one lap remaining to what may be her first one of season 12. And like I said, with Galgan and Brian Judge running back in the pack, this may, this will be beneficial for her in the points. And it put her right back in the contention, maybe if not the lead. But Shelton sees the white flag. She has one lap remaining in the race. Dylan Pochitz remains second. Third remains William Duncan. Zed Weinstein and Henrietta Fitzwater remains the top five. Kyle Matthews, meanwhile, trying for that top five. He's in sixth position. Matthews, a former winner here himself in season nine. I think season eight or season... I think it was season eight, I think, when he won. I'm not sure. But right now, Jessica Shelton's got them all in her rear view mirror. Through the inner loop for the final time she goes and makes it through there beautifully. But as they say, there's something about Jessica Shelton and the road courses in this series. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, though. It's been playing, it's played true here at Watkins Glen. She rounds through turn number 10 and into turn number 11 she goes. And off at corner number 11 for the second year in a row, she will do it at Watkins Glen as Jessica Shelton wins the Hey Jesse 355. Here she comes and across the line she goes. Jessica Shelton wins at the Glen. Second, Dylan Poteet. Third, William Duncan. Fourth is Zed Weinstein. Henrietta Fitzwater holds off Kyle Matthews for fifth. But that was a big one for Jessica Shelton as far as wins are concerned. Not only is it her first of the season, but big points wise as well. Average speed, 86.681, the average speed of the race. And I tell you, she just ran off with that too. 1.7 seconds the margin of victory. Dylan Poteet will finish second. And we gave you the top five already. Kyle Matthews was sixth. Darian Taylor was seventh. Grant Thomas comes home eighth, a good run for him. Ninth, 70 in order. Tenth position was Dalton Day. Joshua Balkin was 11th. 12th, Keith Batson. Jeremy Doobie, 13th. 14th was Charlie Rodriguez. 15th, Cole Daly. Mike, or Michael Norman was 16th position. 17th, Mike Becker. Arnold Columbia, 18th. 19th, Dylan Young. And 20th was Mayonnaise, Charles Jackson. And three cars out of the race. And there's where your points contenders finished here. Sean Galligan was 29th. And Brian Judge finished 22nd. 
and three cars out of the race. Seth Cole had an engine problem out of the race there. Uh, Ann Batson, Seth Cole and Ann Batson both with blown engines and Joshua Carr with a crash that knocked those three out of the race. They were on the same crash, as a matter of fact, too, on the on that lap number one melee. But for Jessica Shelton, she takes a big victory here at Watkins Glen, the number nine course Light Ford. As she heads into Michigan, as a matter of fact, the points leader coming into Michigan with now 14 races left on the season. 33 points over Sean Galligan. Brian Judge is third. Fourth is Keith Batson. Fifth, Dylan Poteet. Sixth, Johnny Gardner. Seventh is William Duncan. Eighth right now is, is Trent Dunham. Darian Taylor and Henrietta Fitzwater currently is in 10th position. And on down to Joshua Osborne, who currently right now, currently right now runs in 20th place in the points. And on down to Kev Shearer in last place at the moment. So, next stop on the tour will be at Michigan Speedway, the Pure Michigan 400. Don't miss it.